Greetings, my movie geeks. Beware of minor spoilers. The 1973 classic, The Wicker Man, was an early film from my adolescence that, I, that was able to shift my expectations for the better. It also became one of the films that affected me in a way that made me mull over the outcome. There are many other films that stayed with me in this way, invading my mind in moments of quiet peace to stir up those emotions created by the film. Quite a few, actually. After seeing Ari Aster's Midsummer, I find myself affected in that same way. Midsummer follows Danny, played by Florence Pugh, who has suffered a family tragedy. Uh, she is in a clingy, failing relationship with Christian, uh, played by Jack Rayner, taking note of the name Christian. As Danny is plunged into depression, she and Christian's relationship is prolonged as Danny needs help to heal. To the chagrin of his friends, apart from Pele, uh, Wilhelm Blomgren, Christian invites Danny on their trip to Sweden to visit Pele's home. They are going to witness a midsummer feast that will not be seen again for 90 years. At the same time as the May Queen is picked. Miles from civilization in a clearing in the forest, the community is secluded and appears to follow pagan rituals, which Christian and his friends are writing their doctoral thesis about. Moments of drug use in an open field highlight both the freedom of the community, but also show that Danny is still struggling with her loss. The imagery in the film uh, is interesting from the outset because it's how the imagery within the film hint at what is to come. Danny has many pieces of artwork in her apartment that look as though they are telling the story in picture form. By going through her family tragedy, we know that Danny is at her weakest. She's also being held at arm's length by Christian and his friends. They invite her on the trip almost out of pity, but it begins to appear that the trip will benefit her the most. And that's what I like about this film, even though it's haunting. The cinematography goes out of its way to make us feel that we have taken the shrooms the characters have taken. Uh, some shots inducing a feeling of vertigo and unease, even before we arrive at the community. Uh, it all builds towards a sense of uneasiness and discomfort. But on the face of it, everything seems nice and happy. The community are welcoming, dressed in funny robes that even they think look silly, which was quite a, a really good inclusion. Whereas the islanders from the Wicker Man go out of their way to alienate Edward Woodward's Sergeant Howie, the members of this commune or community welcome every outsider with open arms. It does build the tension as the trailers hint at what's going to happen. And yet you get the sense that everything that happens could be in their heads. The film quickly shows us that the community are fully into their pagan rituals and don't shy away from showing us everything. Everything. Utilising quick cuts from scene to scene before the group get to the community shows how life can get away from you. But the moment they reach the community, everything slows down and makes you yearn for that simpler life. Midsummer subverts your expectations to the point that it stays with you. It sets up everything in a way you imagine having Danny compete in the May Queen dance whilst high. Your expectations are that it's been set up by the community to have her become the May, the May Queen. But it does seem that everything that happens to Danny is almostly random. What really stood out was how it dealt with grief. Pew stands out here by vocalising her suffering. She is ignored by Christian to the point where she's apologising for herself to him. But once she's at the community, she is able to share her grief and begin to heal properly. Scenes of mutual outpourings of grief and chorally assisted ritual sex and how the community gives more emotional stability to Danny than Christian does. I wonder why Asta called the character Christian. Midsummer is a well-crafted, entertaining piece of film. It shows you don't have to spend a uh, hundred million dollars 
to make a good film. At a meager nine million, I know, meager, it tripled that when I went to see the film. It won't be to the taste of every film goer. There are scenes of gore, but it has an underlying humour that catches you off guard at points. There are also moments that are slightly on the nose, with a large crucifix covered in flowers at the centre of the clearing. Hmm. Midsummer is a superb film that shifted my expectations and left me thinking about it afterwards. I highly recommend it if you haven't already seen it. And I'm going to give it a A. <laughs> I'm going to give it an A. It's an A film. Thank you for watching. You can follow me on Twitter at Movie Ultimate. And on Instagram at Ultimate Movie Geek. Please subscribe and let me know what you thought of Midsummer. See you soon.